Hey guys, I just want to give a little disclaimer at the time that you're watching this video, I'm currently at a funeral and I won't be on socials for, you know, this weekend. So I'll be back Sunday night and I'll be back to the normal grind on Monday. So if there's anything ridiculous that happened today and I, you know, it's not in this video and you're like, yo, Jay, did you see this? I probably saw it. I just can't really talk about it because you know this video was recorded last night also i just kind of want to apologize like i really feel like over the last couple of months i've let the channel down i've kind of like been a sucky streamer i've been like a sucky news reporter i don't know i just don't feel like i've been exciting i don't really feel like i've done anything to grow well i'll be honest i saw the gaming merchants tweet about which youtubers do you watch the most and literally everybody commented thornton smash and you know gaming merchant or temp and whatever and not a single person said J Miles. so yeah i was like you know what I i've really fallen off and i'll take that that's no one's fault but my own so i just wanted to apologize and say i'm gonna work on being a better j miles so that i can be the best possible all right we've got a lot to discuss today regarding the brand new legend coming up in apex legend season 17 and an old movement that seems to be coming back after a lot of controversies as of late make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and comment down below for a chance to win the ash air lumen the entire collection event giveaway as well without further ado let's go ahead and dive right into this so the first thing i wanted to kind of mention just a little bit of like an early golden nugget you guys may have like wondered what's been going on with your ranked games yesterday the entirety of apex was down yesterday so if you guys got really started lagging really bad and you're like your whole game shut down you got kicked you crashed whatever the actual game itself was down the servers were really like chalked so badly so for once in your life it wasn't your bad internet like it always is mine you know xfinity freaking sucks als had even tweeted apex legends is currently down you are not alone so just kind of wanted to bring you guys maybe a little bit of peace of mind about that but something i know a lot of you have not had a peace of mind about and that is the brand new legend coming into the next season yes we've been talking about it for quite some time obviously we didn't get a new legend this season but we are moving into season 17 very shortly and we will be getting actual teasers for this very soon as well and in this season we are going to be getting this brand new legend and this legend we all know is called ballistic and i want to say that the old name for this legend was caliber i'm pretty sure because i think i remember a couple seasons ago we talked about we're supposed to be getting catalyst and then caliber but there's going to be a break in between and we got catalyst season 15 got the break season 16 and then i think caliber was supposed to come 17 but now his name is ballistic so the really weird thing about this legend that a lot of people seem to be like up in arms about is it up in arms open arms i don't know anyways you guys have been voicing your concerns about the recently leaked abilities coming from this guy apex for whatever reason has been always taking this strat or always taking this route i almost wonder if they're doing it like to combat cheaters like if it's like oh you know if all the cheaters are going to be unstoppable let's just give everybody wall hacks let's just give everybody aimbot and so not only have they added an incredible amount of wall hack legends to the game i.e bloodhound i.e seer and also at this point seer and catalyst combo that a lot of the pros are using where you throw up the wall nobody can see but seer seer throws the scan and boom he can see everybody and just shoot through the walls it's so, such a bad look for competitive but anyways they seem to always take that approach well, now it seems like with the recent leak of Rumble and Apex Solos coming back, but it being a little bit different, there's this loadout called Smart Loadout, where it's like a lock aim on target pistol, smart pistol kind of thing. It's so weird. People were like freaking out because like, oh my gosh, they're adding the aimbot pistol into the game. What the heck is this? Like, not only do we have wall hacks now, now we got aimbot. Like, it's just getting worse and worse by the day. And then you've got this guy, this brand new legend that's coming. And I want to read off some of these abilities and talk about why not only so many people are upset, but maybe to calm some of your nerves to maybe not be so upset. So first off is the passive ability. And I want to say that a lot of this stuff is known because a lot of these leakers put out this information. However, you know, do remember that Catalyst did change quite drastically from her early access leaks to her actual release as well obviously all things are final whenever the season actually is announced and we know for sure from respawn but sometimes a lot of these things can be accurate and i do believe that this one was more recent than the catalyst one and it's actually a little bit more valid long story short my point is here take it for what you will the passive ability is a weapon sling and it's a sling where you can store listen to this a third weapon have you ever had the temptation of picking up that Kraber but you didn't want to drop your R99 and you didn't want to drop your PK but you definitely can't drop the R9 and have a PK as a backup just in case you miss but then you definitely don't want to have the uh lack of up close and personal ability to shoot with the shotgun so listen all your problems solved right here what about the times you get spicy and you decide to run a wingman pk you don't want to drop any of those weapons for the craver because honestly if you miss with the craver you're screwed with both of those so like i said problem solved with this weapon sling you can have a third weapon however 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 
this third weapon cannot have attachments the most perfect weapon i can think of is probably the wingman because i really like the iron sights with that gun anyways i don't really like to have an extended mag on it either because i really just find myself staying out way too far in the open shooting for way too long especially never hitting a single shot and this is why the weapon sling makes perfect sense i know we say it all the time but i honestly could see this legend being like in the apex legends competitive meta just for the sake of weapon metas like just being able to have up close and personal but then just you know throw a little scout on the back of your shoulder or just have a little charge rifle in the back somewhere so that you can just third party teams across the map i mean i definitely could see it making a lot of sense now some people were saying that this is way too overpowered and it should never be released into the game but the one that people were really starting to say was overpowered was his tactical ability which basically in layman's term looks like a sentry gun from call of duty it's called smart bullet and it shoots a projectile that debuffs the enemy enemies guns will basically start to heat up as they shoot overheating will cause a reaction to deal damage and holding the tactical will allow it to lock on to a target the way that it looks and the way that it operates it reminds me a lot of like the sentry gun from back in the day in call of duty and then when it comes to the ultimate ability it's basically this massive ammo box that when activated nearby teammates get a buff applied it also gives faster reloads unarmed move speed and infinite ammo ballistic sling weapon also will be equipped and upgraded to gold now the only sense of relief that i could provide is based upon what i'm reading there's literally no way in the world that these things don't have massive cooldowns what i personally don't like from what i'm seeing so far is unlike most legends they usually have some type of an advantage that's just simply natural in their uniqueness with their ability like of course i wouldn't expect pathfinder to be able to throw a wall of ferrofluid because that's just simply what catalyst does but this kind of takes a different approach to abilities in the game it's more so like giving an advantage on every category that every legend has access to right like we all have access to picking up guns except this guy can pick up three we all have access to picking up ammo except this guy can not only pick up ammo he can get it infinitely for his teammate he can also get his third weapon upgraded to gold and it feels like less of abilities and more so of just like a buff to the basic game now these kind of abilities aren't always bad and we've actually seen them before in apex and i think horizon is a good example as to people falling on the game and getting that really slow effect or like you hit the ground and you stick to it really badly obviously horizon's passive allows her to get past that and also you can kind of use it to land places early you can use it to like go really far on a lot of like the gravity cannons so i don't think this approach is always a bad thing but i do think that this one seems a little weird i don't even think it'll feel super strong when you're fighting it up close and personal but when you're in the late game and this guy has an r99 and he has a wingman and he has a pk whatever and then he also just has a charge rifle sitting in his back so he can do literally all of the up close fighting all of the third party cheese and the third weapon drawback was supposed to be that it doesn't get any attachments well if he's got his ultimate it can be upgraded to gold it's just like oh my gosh how many times at the end game have pro players players or maybe competitive players or maybe ranked players or maybe even casual players drop the craver with a few bullets because they said look if i'm gonna get up close and personal i'm gonna need to drop this craver i'm gonna need to pick my r99 back up how many people now will keep that craver and say look i might just use it as a spoiler keep my r99 keep my pk as my third weapon keep the craver just for the spoiler weapon try to get up close try to get a lucky no scope and sometimes that could literally make the difference of the game being allowed to have that third weapon may literally change the way that we see the game played now i gotta say the way that this guy looks is really cool i would imagine that there's got to be a drawback in the cooldown because these abilities do seem a little crazy but this is definitely something i'm reading the comments about to see what you guys have to say lastly as we wrap up the video a little golden nugget i really wanted to mention this so you guys remember back in the day sweet dream started a trend called hashtag save apex ranked the rank system has gotten so bad with the ddosing and the cheaters going rampant and nobody's getting banned by the way i haven't seen a massive like you know ranked ban in quite some time unfortunately and a lot of people are getting frustrated again the pro players are going crazy Al really tweeted this last i mean he's been on like every day talking about it tweeting about it and he even went on basically last night i've literally gotten ddos in three games being on apex for barely an hour do you not care apex about ranked anymore why do the players care more about the state of the game than these developers do we're 16 seasons deep and it's still happening are you serious hashtag save apex ranked some people were saying even you know i've completely given up on the rank scene realm is the only legit way to play apex and enjoy the game anymore and unfortunately that is a system that has been put in place by another organization not apex itself so like Albert Lilly said, why do the uh, players seem to care more about the scene than the developers do? Why haven't the developers developed something a little bit like this that works a little bit more 
I don't know. Definitely interested in the conversation. Even some retweets coming in from some pro players saying hashtag stave apex ranked as well. And that was coming from stay naughty. Interested to see what you guys have to say down in the comment section below. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to stay up to date. All things Apex Legends news related. And if you want a chance to win that Ash Heirloom giveaway. Once again, just wanted to kind of apologize as a creator. You know, maybe I would say I've not done my best job at entertaining at my artwork on the thumbnails or maybe the, you know, quality of the videos or maybe the flow of the videos. So I've just invested quite a bit of money into my streams for weekly giveaways, weekly tournaments to do. And I plan to really spice this channel up with the content as well and making sure I'm bringing you guys the best quality possible. Thank you all for the support over the years. And until next time, I will see you all later, Gators.